Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can save your Twitter threads into your Notion library so that you can go through them in your own time, process them and take some actionable notes. Let's dive in. So guys, welcome back. It's Ev here. I could talk a whole lot about how I haven't been around for a while and I haven't done a video, but let's not do that. Let's just dive straight into what we're going to be talking about today. And that is Twitter threads. So uh, I love Twitter threads as much as the next person, but what I've really been finding is that as I am, you know, doing a quick scroll through on Twitter, I'll find a good Twitter thread and then I'll be like, oh, I'd really love to like, you know, really dive deep into that or to, you know, save it for later. Or, you know, a lot of the times I've been bookmarking them and then trying to go back to them and that hasn't seemed to be working for me. So I uh, decided that I was going to treat a Twitter thread like I would an article or a book or a podcast or anything like that. And I would start to actually clip them into my library in Notion so that I can, uh, just like I would with an article or a podcast or a book or a course or anything else, take the time to go through them, take the time to read them, take the time to take notes um, and uh, and to create kind of actionable, um, you know, things from, from those Twitter threads. So I want to show you how I do that. So let's jump straight into it. This is a, a thread that I saw this morning on Twitter and I thought, yes, I want to, um, uh, I want to save this one. So it's from Sahil. And the way I do that is I actually use the Save to Notion Web Clipper. It's, it's not the official Notion one. It is on the Chrome Web Store and I will link it in the description below, okay? This is one of the reasons that I use it is that I, um, I like that I can have different types of clippings. So for me, I have my regular kind of save to library, which is what I use for articles, stuff like that. Then I have my swipe file. Um, so that's interesting things that I'm finding, um, you know, work in marketing. So a lot of the time I'm kind of, you know, clipping kind of web pages and landing pages and stuff. And then I have my wish list. So anything I want to buy, I save into my wish list. Um, so all of those kind of go into a different database. And um, and the reason that I like it is just because it makes it super easy. I don't even have to think. I just click the button. So let's jump in and see how I create this form. So if we go add new form, it's really simple. You just choose your workspace and then your database. So for me, my database is called the library. Once I've done that, I you can actually choose a template. So I use templates a lot in my Notion workspace uh, to make it really easy to categorize things. So uh, I'm going to choose my new Twitter thread. This time around, I'm not going to clip the page content. And the reason for that is when you clip a Twitter uh, page, it will only clip the first tweet. So it doesn't actually mean that much to me um, because I'm going to have to jump into Twitter anyway. So I don't do that this time. And then down here, you've got all your fields, okay? So the name is gonna be the page title, which is the tweet, pretty much. Um, the link is gonna be the page URL, so that's gonna get us back here so that we can read it. Then the icon, I remove that for this particular clipping just because uh, I already use this little tweet, this little bird icon, and I like it. And then I don't need a content image for this one. The other thing that you can do is um, you can add new fields. So if you've got any other type of fields, uh, in your database, you can set those as well. I I don't need to for this particular um, clipping, so I'm not gonna do that. So then we go save and go back. Now, you'll see now I have the library. So just so that I don't get confused, I always just come back in and just go edit. You can do this actually when you create it, but I always forget to do that. So we're gonna just go save Twitter thread. You know, and the reason that I do this, and a lot of people like, uh, you know, why would you even take the time to like create something as a save to Twitter thread? How many times are you gonna use that? It doesn't really matter to me. The, the thing that I'm always trying to do is to reduce the friction. So if it's easy for me to clip that into my Notion library and then deal with it, you know, I deal every week with all of my triage stuff um, and you'll see that when I jump in, but you know, just having something that's really quick and easy uh, to be able to you know clip all of that stuff in and then deal with it at a later stage. It just means that, you know, it makes my life easy and that's what I'm about. So once I've done that, then uh, I just come 
back in here and as long as I'm on the, the thread, I just go save Twitter thread. You'll see that the title comes up again. Um, you can feel free to change it. I don't have time to do that. So I just go add new page. And then you kind of get this confirmation screen in the end. So if we just jump over in here to my growth hub, which is where my library is, and you know this is where I was talking about triage, once a week I will go through uh, this list and I will categorize everything, I'll put it into all the right places so that then I can engage. And it's about engaging intentionally. So I, I could read this Twitter thread easily um, as I'm scrolling through Twitter, you know, in the grocery line or wherever I'm at, but you know, uh, sometimes it's about, especially with content, and this is one of the, 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 the main parts of my system is that I want to engage intentionally. I want to make sure that I'm getting the most out of everything that I'm consuming. Once you come here, you can see it's here. Uh, our little Twitter bird is there. We know that it's a Twitter thread. And if I open this up, you, uh, and let's just open it as a page. You're going to see that, um, the, the tweet is here. And then as I scroll down, what you're going to see is my template for actually consuming content like this. So as I'm um, reading through, oops, as I'm reading through the tweet, I might say, oh, do you know what? This looks really, um, this looks really interesting. So I would never usually just copy and paste, but for the sake of this video, that is what I'm doing. Usually I would take notes in my own handwriting. Um, and I just kind of paste it in here. And so the reason that I take notes in my own handwriting is it goes in here. Okay. Um, when you just copy and paste things, I did that for a really long time, just copied and pasted and it just doesn't work. It doesn't work to process it in your own brain. So how I would usually process a note is I'd read this, um, I would write something, um, about it in my own words, and then I would, um, uh, and then I'd, uh, save the note, but for the sake of just getting this video done and getting it done fast, this is what we're doing. So um, uh, I usually try and give it a, a title that I'll remember. And then now you can see I've got a note here um, and it's related to this tweet. And I'll just go through the whole Twitter thread and I'll do the same. I'll think, oh yeah, okay, with the wisdom paradox. And I might write something on that. And so I keep going uh, in that way. That's how I've been saving my Twitter threads into my uh, Notion library. If you are interested, um, this is part of a bigger template that I have called Consumer to Creator Lab, which is all about engaging with content with intention and turning that content into actionable notes that can go into your Zettelcast and be processed either to take action on or to create more content from. So uh, it's a really cool system. I'd love you to check it out. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. So guys, if you liked this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be making more of these videos. And, um, and so I really hope that you will come along for the ride. I'd love to hear, uh, what kinds of videos that you would like to see uh, about my system or about notion or whatever it is, whatever you want to hear, pop it in the comments below and come on over to Twitter, follow me uh, over there and connect with me. That's where I am the most uh, active. And, um, and I love to have conversations about all of this stuff. Thanks guys.